told him how Murray doesn't like having his lawn mowed. In fact, you know that Sunday morning neighbor starts off the lawnmower and it's really irritating? Drives him nuts. So he has actually killed four lawnmowers. And I was telling someone that story and they looked horrified. And I realized they thought I meant the guy doing the mowing. No, I meant the machine. He's killed four lawn mowers and dragged them into his pond. He actually stops the blades on his teeth. He's an amazing crocodile. Now Murray, although he hates lawn mowers, he absolutely loves his tucker. He loves to have something to eat, so we're going to show you just how crocodiles act in the wild. Wes is going to demonstrate croc safety. Now when you watch Wes, it's pretty simple. Basically, don't do anything Wes does. You should be pretty safe. Whatever you do, don't go near the water's edge in croc territory. They define their territory in the water and at the edge. Whatever you do, never make the mistake of going in the water with the crocodile. I can't believe I do this. Okay, crocs very simple to avoid. The problem is, if people go into the water, the water's normally dirty, and a 16-foot crocodile can move through knee-deep water without making a ripple. So the key is, is, is to stay out of the water, <laughs> and you won't have a problem with the crocodile. Oh, my God. Look, he's on the big bit. Oh, you got some big teeth. What a beautiful croc. Okay, Wes, well, watch him. He's all yeah. the Check out the size of him. And that can always be too. Shit. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Hey, guys. I got my bike on. Shit, come here. here at Australia Zoo and learning those new words from Monkey Wes. <laughs> okay, let's see if Bibi can demonstrate how a crocodile can tail walk. They can come vertically out of the water nearly their whole body length. That's why you don't want to be on a limb over the river in croc territory. Check him out. Per square inch jaw pressure. Yes! Good job, Bindi. He is on fire today. One more piece for him. Well, let's get his favorite food. We've got a rat burger. Oh. Oh. Those rat burgers are fresh from the food court. <laughs> They're not fresh from the food court, Robert. Okay, this is like a little Christmas lamington with fur. It's for food, 
and one is for territory. Now, fellas, what would you do if someone came into your house in the middle of the night and grabbed your wife? What would you do? Let her do that. <laughs> Aside, crocs are like any good old Aussie bloke, or a poor woman for that matter. If someone comes into your home, you're going to protect it, and the river is their home. So you just got to follow those simple rules. Awesome. Someone's walking off today. Okay, let's see if we can show you just how a croc would line up a strike in the wild. Imagine, if you will, you're in North Queensland, say, at the Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve. It's a lot hotter there than it is here today, and there's a croc stalking his prey. He sensed the vibration of a huge feral pig approaching the water's edge. He's never seen a pig with such a snappy haircut. But he lights up the strike anyway. The pig gets too close. The crocodile strikes. He grabs the pig. He tries to get the pig back into the water, but the pig does not want to go into the water. So the crocodile will violently head shake to try to dislodge that pig. Okay, violently head shake. That's a boy. so far this school holiday. Good job, mate. Now you will notice that at this point in the show, Murray does look a little bit confused. He looks somewhat bewildered because this is, this is the end of, of the part of the show for him and he's going the wrong way. He's supposed to go home. But here's the problem. It's because Murray knows that it's a challenge to find his way home through that maze, that labyrinth of canal systems to get home. And he knows he's got a real problem because if he gets lost, see, he's a male, so he can't ask for direction. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary, isn't it, being a boy? Help, I'm lost. No, but I won't ask. Yeah, there's a really simple way to sex a crocodile to find out a male from a female. As you wander around the zoo, you'll notice there's a heap of crocs with their mouths open for most of the day. They're generally the females. <laughs> Wesley, your mother's here. You are so bad. You're in trouble. It actually now. tends to get worse with age. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the no. Robert, why don't you save the day with your question? Because Wes is yeah, a big job. Well, why don't you and Bindi come on out? Just keep an eye on Murray in case he wants eight-year-old dessert. It's great working with kids because all you have to do is outrun them in here. Eh? Excellent. <laughs> the kids are normally slumps. <laughs> okay, Robert, what was your question? Well, Wes, my yes, question Robert. was, how do you really tell the difference between a male and a female crocodile? Yes, Wes. Um, well, Robert, yeah, just watch out, he's blinding us up. Um, pretty simple. Males have the blue bow, girls have the uh, pink bow. Let's say, tell. Yeah, I, I, I've never seen a crop with a blue bow or a pink bow. You always stick one. together. How do you sex a crocodile? Well, looking at a crocodile, you know this guy's a boy because girls don't get this big. But other, if they're smaller and they're both the same size, like under 10 feet, there's nothing actually, um, you know, they're not like a rat where you can lift up their tail and have a look. So you actually have to insert your finger into the collar. Okay, now, just under the back legs, there's a little slit. Both males and females have them. And you've got to come around here like this, and you've got to whack your finger in his claw like, and now if I did that, he'd kill me. So I'm not going to do it today, but you normally do it when you capture the croc. And you feel around, and if you feel a, uh, male, and if you don't feel a, female. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, but what's a... I don't know. What's that? Ask your mum. What is it, mum? Yeah, mum. Um, well, I'll tell you, Robert. We've got a bit of a, a quandary. Do you know what a quandary is? 